So spend is normally where I'll, where I'll start and I'll start to get into other things. But I want to stop there and clarify because there is, <laughs> there could be a lot of nuance to that statement and I don't want to jump yeah. around too fast. Yeah. I want to go back to something and then incorporate that into this with this uh, advertising report. Um, you mentioned adding another column where you divide purchases by clicks. So what you were referring to was based on your click-through rate, how many people landed on the product page versus how many people purchased? So when you divide purchases by clicks, what you're getting is how many people click through on this keyword to buy. And then of the people who click through, how many of them actually purchased? And so what you can start to see is like, oh, maybe this keyword, we're getting a lot of clicks, but we're actually not getting a lot of purchases because the shoppers are actually looking for something else. So maybe we shouldn't be going after this keyword because it's a little bit misleading to shoppers. And maybe this other keyword where we've gotten fewer clicks historically might be the right thing to target because of how high the number of times somebody buys when they click on that term. So that's why I'm talking about with the conversion rate, the, yeah. the search query performance conversion rate. No, I mean, that's okay. So the clicks mean number of people that landed on the page mm -hmm. and that purchases is ultimately how many people ended up purchasing. So that's true conversion. Uh, now, uh, one little distinction there because Amazon does have that differentiation. Number of pieces purchased or number of orders? So, ooh, I am almost certain that it's the number of times somebody hits purchase and it does not include units. I can check though. Maybe we should, maybe we need to blur this part out because um, I'm, I forgot to check that part. Um, but what is important here? Um, both, but I don't know if we're going to get both from Amazon. No, we're um, not. We are yeah. going to get only one. Okay. Uh, right, either one. Look, it doesn't matter. Since we are only getting one, it doesn't matter. We, whatever we're getting, let's say, let's stick with yeah. that. So um, whatever the number of purchases divided by number of clicks, that's your true conversion. So now, uh, if there is a huge difference between clicks and purchases compared to everybody else. And, and because you can also see the purchase rate of other, other uh, ASINs. Um, what do you do with it? So with conversion rate, what do I do with it? Um, I actually do several things with it. Um, but if we're going to talk about conversion rates, I don't want to just compare my PPC conversion rate to my search query performance conversion rate. I actually want to take the Amazon top search terms report and I want to blend that in because what you can do is you can take a bunch of uh, different searches and you can throw them into top search terms and download those reports for that same time period. And then what you'll want to do is use a formula to pull them all over. Ideally, um, probably like an index match or maybe a sum ifs. It all depends on the circumstance. And then all that will now show up even further to the right in your same, uh, same report. And what you can do with that information is you can then, uh, then you'll get both the click rate and the purchase rate or uh, click share and per conversion share. And so what we'll do then is we'll multiply each of those by the total count. So we'll multiply total clicks from the search query performance report, multiply that by the top ASINs click share percentage. And by multiplying those two numbers, you get the actual total number of clicks that your competitor is getting on that keyword. And then you do the exact same thing with purchases and conversion share and that gives you the total number of sales that your competitor is making on that keyword. And then you divide competitors' purchases by competitors' clicks, 
and you get your competitor's conversion rate or estimated conversion rate on that keyword. And so then you can, and you can do this all on a spreadsheet with a single formula and drag it down. And by doing all of that, you then can compare your PPC conversion rate, your search query performance conversion rate, and your uh, competitor's conversion rate to see in which, which case is the, who's the best in each of these cases. And if there are any situations where your search or where your advertising conversion rate is the highest, that's a clear opportunity in my eyes to spend more money on that term and potentially try to rank on that term and maybe dethrone your top competitor by using data to your advantage when you realize that you're outperforming them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's great. Except it's a lot of data, downloading formulas, maintaining and updating the sheet over and over and over. And then yeah. also, you know, factoring in that trend, how these are trending. And uh, it's it's quite a bit of work. It's, it's almost, uh, you would spend hours, you know, obviously doing this. So it's a big deal. Yeah. Well... We can we can go on. I mean, I mean, obviously, there's a lot we can do here. But yeah. with what you shared, I'm sure people uh, will take this and then apply uh, to their operation. And then, of course, any questions, uh, they should reach out to you. And in fact, everybody listening, I will say, reach out to Sean. And uh, you can see there's a lot here that will make a big difference.